Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm leaving. I'm moving out of Chicago. I can't do it anymore. Um, I'm, I'm in the middle of downtown. I thought it was cute to be like, let me go to a five guys. It's like close because I didn't want to have to drive too far. And I'm in the middle of the city. I can't drive. There's pedestrians everywhere. There's cars everywhere. Um, I'm, I'm, beh I'm literally parked behind a USPS truck right now with my hazards on in the middle of like a no. I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. And I just feel like I'm crooked. I mean, I'm on like a hash mark middle thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about? It's like a no parking kind of thing i'm looking at a trader joe's i'm trying to park there um there's big trucks behind me and there's a car identical to mine riding behind me just real smooth i see you okay have fun um okay so how do i get over there you guys, i just have to turn the camera on because this is um i need you guys to hear with me to help me out um my hazards are still on this is actually so much i hate being in the city i hate it uh, and everybody has their hazards on everybody it's just park where they want to with their hazards on i'm literally about to park at the trader joe's thing but this guy just wants to go as the slowest possible that he possibly could this lady's about to hit me in my lane what is going i don't have road rage guys i promise i'm just trying to go to the trader joe's parking lot so i could steal their parking for a second just for an hour or maybe a little bit more than that i don't know um okay so do they have a downstairs parking are they gonna find out that i'm oh my god this is a hoy mates 60 minute parking Oh, can I park right here? Are they gonna kill me? Oh my gosh, there's a car behind me. Uh, I'm gonna park up here. I can do it, guys, right? And they're gonna see me walk to five guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I don't even know. And that dog is just. I can't. I don't even know what's going on. There's literally a dog, like, and they have him tied around a handicap um, placard thing. Like a. I don't even know. And that dog is literally just looking around going, what was that? And I would not, maybe they don't allow dogs in there. I would not want my dog to be sitting outside because I don't know who's trying to touch my dog and pet it, pet my dog and do whatever they want to do. Absolutely not. Um, oh, it's such a cute, what if I brought my camera out and I, I showed you guys him um, and do exactly what I wouldn't want done to my dog. Now, we're going to spot five, guys. I'm not going to film me going inside because um, that whole um, intro was hectic. I feel like my stomach hurts from that. Um, I don't know. It's a little blo a bloatation device in my stomach. Um, and we have a lot to talk about today. So maybe I won't film going inside the five, guys. But that's kind of crazy. This is Chipotle, too. Maybe I should get that, too. Or instead. Um, I don't know. But we are going to talk about something that I just thought of literally while I was in the shower today. I was like, I haven't shared a lot of things. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a Genesis. I don't know why I thought it was a big bag busting out the Bentley Bantega. Um, but it <laughs> it's not. Um, anyways, we're going to go to Five Guys. I have something to share with you guys today about my, my past girlfriends. I thought that would be an interesting story to talk about. Um, and there are sirens always constantly um, where I live. Um, this man is riding his bike. I'm by the dumpster. Um, if you are not into chaotic video... Oh, my God. Why did that man just look at me? <sighs> He's probably noticing that I'm not here for Trader Joe's and I'm here for, for Five Guys. Um, anyways, if you're not into chaotic videos, please leave right now because you guys know how these videos are. Okay, so now we can officially start. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Darius, and this video is for the girls. Um, right now, I just got five guys, okay? Um, and the bag is greasy, and the fries look delicious. The lady that was working there, she didn't want to work there. She does not want to work there. I don't know if she's, not, if she's having a bad day or um, something or the other, but it just very much is not her day to day. I was like, hey, I was trying to be as nice as possible. She probably just wasn't feeling it today. Um, that's Kamala Harris behind me. I don't know if y'all saw that. Um, oh, <laughs> anyways, oh my goodness, if she can hear me laugh because that was kind of close to the car, and oh my goodness. Um, but anyways, um, we're gonna be starting right now. Let me get my stuff out. I'm actually there's so much going on today. Um, I know everyone hates when I talk about Beyonce. So sorry. Um, but she <laughs> released the cover. Um, photo for or, um, Cowboy Carter is what it's called Act 2. My car is clean and I don't want to get it dirty and look at this there's stuff all over this um, but I'm very excited for her new album and she's about to um, bust the country scene wide open and I don't even listen to country but I'll be there um, with his gun and his head he told me not to cry oh my daddy says you don't play I'm about to be in my folk era um 
Okay. I got a, um, a, what is it called? I got a hot dog and I added mushrooms, bacon, jalapeno peppers and grilled onions. And I think that's it. And then for the sauces I got, I got mayo and A1 steak sauce. I always get mayos, mayo and A1 steak sauce. And I feel like the, everyone like looks at me crazy when I order that. Um, and they're like, okay, well, no. Do you guys ever like, if you've ever worked at a place, are you like secretly judging the order? One time, oh my God, what? <laughs> One time I went to, I don't even know where I was. I mean, I do know where I was. I was at Taco Bell. I don't know what, what it was that I ordered, though. I think it was something my dad ordered. I was going to get food for all my family. And tell me why the guy said, ew, that's disgusting. Oh, no, you lying. I should have got the manager. That's so rude. I don't even want to eat my food no more. That's so mean. He said, uh, I don't even know what my dad got to make him, do, to make him say that. But he literally said, ugh, that's disgusting. Oh, uh, that's disgusting. It's so crazy. And it was like, it was like 12 a.m. And he was probably tired and sick. Like, sick and tired of these people. Sick and tired of the uh, the shift. Sick and tired of the employees. But you ain't got to be sick and tired of what I ordered. Dang. And I just remember thinking, like, did he really say that? Like, <laughs> I was in shock after. I didn't, re I didn't even respond. Because I didn't know what to say. He was like, ew, that's disgusting. What else? Like, I know you guys would have had a fit. Okay, that lady was looking at my car. Hey, how you doing? Okay, she wasn't. Um. Now, tell me why Five Guys gives you a million fries. This bag is full of fries. And I can't even lift the thing out. Because there's so many fries in there. I'm not complaining. But I'm just saying it's interesting. How, um... I actually saw a video about how Five Guys actually gives you a better fry. I mean, better value than McDonald's. Because of how many fries you get for how much you pay for. Um, but I think these are like $5, though. So. And McDonald's fries are a dollar. So it might be a better value, but what if you don't want that many fries? Mm, okay. The moment of truth on this hot dog... Okay, I feel like I'm, have you ever, y'all know those uh, things, those those uh, cake tins that be loud as all get out? I feel like I was trying to uh, open this slowly like it was like that, but it's not. Okay, this looks like, I don't know, I'm, I don't know what to tell that lady, I'm so sorry. This kind of looks crazy, but listen, it's a hot dog. <gasps> Did I drip something? Oh my God, I can't. Mm. You guys want my tray? I'll get my tray for you guys. If I eat these fries. Take the next bite. <laughs> I feel like eating is such an intimate thing. Like... I don't know. Watching somebody eat and chew and swallow. Especially, I'm just going to say this. Hey, those employees are not coming out to clock me. <laughs> okay. If that fell, I would be so upset. My heat seat is on. Yeah, it's in my back seat. Don't say nothing to me. Yep, just like that. Okay. All right, look at this. Now we're gonna put this on here like so. Yes. Wow, just a little tray. This is kind of iconic, actually. I'm gonna take a sip of my water. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now, do they know that I'm here? the Trader Joe's employees. How does that work? If you ever work somewhere where they're like, is it real that, I've, I've talked about this before, that you actually only have 60 minutes or however long they say on the signs? Because how do they know that your car is here for that for longer than 60 minutes?
They can't know. Now, I get this malt vinegar every time. Mm. I guess I picked the weirdest spot because everyone's over here. But I got this malt vinegar. No one has explained to me where you're supposed to put this. Is it on the fries? Is it on the burgers? Is it on the hot dogs? Like, oh, and it stank too. You smell like um, you smell like upper lip. Mm mm. Now, if you don't eat hot dogs, I understand, but. <laughs> I think you should always get a hot dog. I'm, I'm a hot dog person over a burger. I know that's so weird and incancelable, but I just can't do a burger. And I would much rather have a hot dog. Um, and if you're going to get a hot dog from Five Guys, do my order. Do it. Um, if you like mushrooms. You don't have to get mushrooms, but because I, I know a lot of people don't like that. But I love the jalapeno and the bacon. And the, oh. Oh, my God. I almost spilled the malt vinegar all over my hot dog. All right, I dipped it in there. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I wasted it. I do it every time. I didn't get that much, but... I just cannot do it. Sorry, the beginning half is gonna be me eating. You guys, some of you guys like that. I know some of you guys only like when I um, am talking. Lisa not here today because um, our schedules didn't line up. He had to go to an appointment. Is actually hitting more than I thought I was going to. Mm. Now, instead of doing an ending, like if you got to end this video, and this is the end of this video, let's do a middle one. We're nine minutes in to this clip. Um, so let's see if. You're at, you you skip to the end or whatever the, the portion of the video that's in the title or if you watch the whole thing. Okay! Uh, whoever that is is giving a walk. Um, they very, very much look non-binary, but they were giving a walk and a serve, actually, and a look. Um, but if you got to, to the middle of this video, let me know what type of your... What's your favorite um, category of food to, like, watch. Not eat. Or actually, you know, do eat and watch, I guess. Um, cause I think that it's very interesting. Like, I think a lot of people like watching people eat chicken. From my personal experience with mukbangs, people like chicken eating. There's one parking next to me, please. Mm. And I'll have my other phone to save me. Otherwise, I'd be like, hello? Now, well, if you guys heard it, and it was scratching my car. <laughs> now, I bit the bullet, and I um, bought an Airbnb for Indianapolis. Um... I didn't buy one. I guess I just like reserved it. How do you say it? I don't know. To watch the eclipse with my parents. Um, it's going to be a huge event. I'm probably going to go a week early so I can see my mom for her birthday. Um, and then now, now I have to go to, and she's looking at me doing mukbang, but now because I'm doing um, this for my mom, I want to go down there for my dad's birthday and, and do something then. But the only reason why I really did this with for my mom, like, 
is because it was around her birthday. The, the eclipse thing's on the 8th, and her birthday's on the 2nd. But with my dad's birthday, I don't, I can't think of anything that's on in November that's cool to go to. Or, like, I don't know. Normally, I probably would have just given her a gift or something. But we wouldn't have done anything. But then I don't want to make it seem like, oh, dad, is that my car? Oh, my God, I'm close to it. And she's looking at me like I'm nervous that she's going to. Oh, guys, you guys know how I get when I'm overstimulated. The girl over here is getting out her car. The girl over here is getting in her car. Um, and she didn't want to hit my car, but she was looking at me to be like, like almost like I, I was pressuring her to not hit my car. And um, anyway, so um, <laughs> my mom's birthday just happens to fall, but with the eclipse thing. And so I want to see it with my family because it's a once in a lifetime kind of thing. Or not a once in a lifetime, but once in a long time kind of thing. Apparently, specifically in Indianapolis, this one won't happen again, or you won't be able to see a total eclipse for until 2134 or something like that. Um, listen, I hope that I put you guys on or somebody else did before me, but you should really go try to see this eclipse with your loved ones. I think it's going to be iconic. You do have to get glasses. Don't just be looking at the sun because you don't come to me telling me, I'm blind in my left eye. Uh-uh. Don't say nothing to me. Now I see why they say you can only be here for 60 minutes max. Because these parking spaces are filling up every time somebody leaves. I'm going to be gone quick, I promise. Um, after I eat this, I'll share my, my girlfriend's story. You guys all want to know. I'm so, like, mask and, and butch and, and masculine and strong and, you know, stoic. So, um, that's why I really had a, just a lot of girlfriends in the past, so. <laughs> now that I'm out, you guys think it was weird that... <laughs> Every 30 seconds, my mom or my brother would try to do a video with me being like, are you going to have kids? Because they knew that everyone would be like, is theirs gay? That's very funny. Or they'd be like, oh, would you ever get in a relationship? Um, and I never could make those videos by myself because everyone would do a lot. Hmm. Okay. I'm actually, I, you know what? Blame B Love. Yeah. Because every time I do a video with her, I don't eat my food. Um, not that I eat all my food when I do it by myself, but today I guess I'm hungry. I don't know. But normally I feel like I would be eating this and I'd be like, I can't finish it because I have to talk and do this and that. But I guess I'm talking right now. Excuses, excuses. There's this, uh, there's a reason. I don't know what it is, but blame be love. I don't know. Talk to her about it. And don't try it. Where did that man come from? I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I'm at. That man just came up out of a dungeon. Out the ground. I'm not joking. He came up out the ground. In Chicago, I'm not used to this city life. Okay, mm. I guess there's a, a parking garage underground, they can park there. I need the sunlight for this video. I feel like I'll be making faces like Countess all the time. No. Mm-hmm. Now, if you could be in a sitcom at any time, like ones that are running now or that ha are not running anymore, which one would you be in? I would be in, um... Hmm...
That's a good one. Not friends. <laughs> oh my goodness. Every time I hate when people are like, Friends is just like the best sitcom ever, blah 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 blah. And I didn't watch In Living Color. Um I didn't I'm I i do not even think I've ever seen one episode, which might be cancelable, but um everyone's like In Living Color was first I think that that's the one they said was first. In Living Color, but there's also a whole a whole bunch of other ones that they say that friends like stole from from black communities. Or black sitcom driver. Um I think that I would be in... I think the Upshaws is really funny. I would be in the Upshaws or I think the Parkers. I would be in the Parkers or the Upshaws. Um, the Parkers is really funny to me. And I love Monique. Mm. I don't know now. She's getting canceled left and right. Her son coming out saying stuff. That's none of my business though. Ooh. People just be eating and talking about people. Eating and talking about people. Something told my spirit that I'm done after eating this fry. Don't tell my mom I have a little bit of a little bit left. Okay. Now, I know this is a small population of people, but there are people, I'm assuming, who have subscribed to me and they don't know who I am outside of this channel or who my mom is. And I wonder if they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I wonder if they're like, why is he always bringing up his mom? Um, I don't know if that's true, but... If it is, that's very interesting that you don't know anything else. Because honestly, um, I have a couple videos. Um, well, I don't know. I was going to say that reach a broader audience, and I do. Um, but that doesn't mean they don't know who I am from other things. All right. Okay, I'll start talking about my girlfriends. Um... I mean girlfriends as a friends, guys. No, I'm just kidding. That would be so bogus. <laughs> if I said, I just mean girlfriends as in like my ex, like friends that were girls. No, let's talk about my girlfriends. Um, I'm saying girlfriends as in like, I'm acting like I had a um, a whole bunch of girls on me. I didn't. Um, but I, I had, I have had two girlfriends, I think. Um, obviously nothing serious. The first girl, um, let me go through all the girls that I used to have crushes on when I was younger. Um, and when I say this, I, I'm, I'm assuming this is a safe space because some of you guys are crazy. Okay, I don't, I, I can't diagnose. I just, I just see and I tell what I tell how it is. Okay, can't diagnose you. But some of you guys are crazy, and that's okay. Um, but when you're on this channel, I'm here to educate. First of all, I've been gay my whole life. Okay, and I know some of you guys are like, oh my goodness, the gay stuff again. If that's you. Why'd you click on the video? Probably because they wanted to see the straight stuff. Anyways, um, but basically, I've been gay my whole life. But when you're young and you don't have any representation or anybody to like, um, or when you don't see people who are gay or you don't understand it or whatever, and you see everyone straight, you just assume that you are too. And so when I was younger, I would sometimes have crushes like in elementary school. And you, when you're thinking about crushes in elementary school, you don't really know what's going on. Um, it was really just ending up. I talked about this a little bit. Just girls that I thought were pretty. I thought I talked about this a little bit in my both my coming out video and a little bit with my parents, right? But there were a few girls that um, I ended up doing more things with, not like physically, but um, the, this first girl, the first girl's name was um, Julia, um, and I wonder where she is right now because she left our school, I think in middle school, um, but in elementary school, I dated her for a week and let me tell you why it was a week because she was a two timing two, two what do you call it two timer two timer slimy <laughs> i don't know but she cheated on me okay 
and she was caught red-handed in and i think it was like fourth or third grade i don't know um and i remember exactly the guy who she did it with um and he was also black too which i thought was interesting she was um definitely for the girls <laughs> because me him and maybe two other guys were the only black guys besides malik I don't even know if he had came yet to to the school to our school, but we were the only black guys in our in our like grade, um, and she was dating both me and this other guy at the same exact time, and I thought that that was so weird, and I think that the way it happened was because I was talking to him, and I think I told him I was like my girlfriend is Julia, and he said which one? Because I have a girlfriend named Julia, and I said um absolutely not. I said which one? And then he said her last name. I said, oh, no. And so you guys know when you, <laughs> when there's like a little kitty corner of like where you read to first grade students. I don't really know what year it was when I was in elementary school, but it's a little, little corner where you read and stuff. Um, we were in the corner and I said, Julia. And we said, Julia, come here. And we were both like doing like a, an arm cross, like a, a, like a foot tap on the ground, like almost like an upset parent, like so we know everything and you need to tell us what you have been up to that's what we basically said and she was like uh, but i and, and we said no we're breaking and we said we're breaking up with you and i said i, I remember thinking wow this is kind of gagging like we really just like joined forces and alliances and we broke up with the girl who cheated on us and i wonder if i actually um if i actually cared I don't think I did. Or I don't remember if I did or not. Like, I can't remember back to be like, was I like heartbroken and sad that my girlfriend cheated on me? That's how you know I was gay. Cause I was like, I don't, I don't even think I remember being like upset or anything. I was just like, oh, she tried that. Um, and that's it. He probably was like, my girlfriend. Um, but he also was, or, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, at, and this is a different like story we can get into later, but I feel like as a, you know, I, I, I had to just be open and gay because that's how I am. Not, what am I trying to say? You could just tell, right? So I wasn't ever like in the closet and I feel like people could just tell anyways. And so I felt like I was the person that not people would experiment with, but people would definitely ask me like questions all the time about my sexuality in, in middle school. Oh, so like, how do you know you're gay? Um, well, I just don't like girls. Interesting. So when'd you find out? Like guys would be d d not, not DMing me. I don't know if it was called that at the time. Um, they would like somehow get in contact with me on Facebook Messenger or whatever and be like, so how did you know? And blah, blah, this and that. And I'm like, okay, well. Um, and I specifically remember the boy that <clears throat> she cheated on me with. Um, I feel like he very much um, at one point in time was very interested in the whole process and everything like that um I, i'm not gonna say nothing else about that but there was definitely multiple other guys that did that to me um and would ask me questions about things which i thought was very interesting but maybe they were just curious i don't know but um the point is is that she cheated on me and that, that was that that on that on that and after i think she left in middle school and i never saw her again and I want to look her up now that I did this video because I, I want to see how she's doing. Um, let me know this. I've asked you guys a billion questions in this video. Do you guys ever talk to... Do, do you guys ever keep in contact with anybody you knew in school? Like, not your besties. Like, obviously, there are people who you probably, like, still know to this day and still talk to on a regular basis. I'm talking about, like, is there anybody you're ever wondering, like, I wonder what they're doing now. I'm only, like, what, five, six years out of out of school? Six is kind of crazy. Oh my goodness, I'm about to die. Please! Um, uh, how many years am I out of school? 19? Oh my goodness, I'm like five years, just about. I don't know, I can't get it down to a day, but it's about five years out of school, which is kind of a long time. Um, and I'm constantly thinking about like, people have like kids, they're married. I'm like, girl, what is y'all <laughs> What is y'all doing? Um, I just feel like it's kind of crazy for five years ago. Mm. some people feel like they're born to start families and if that's you that's you some people were 19 like i'm getting married i'm getting married you do i very much want to um 
I want to tie the knot. I want to move in with my significant other. I want to have kids. I want to have multiple kids. I know people who have multiple children right now. And we graduated in 2019. And I feel like that's like very... And this is no shame. This is no shame to the girls that want kids. Um, that's totally fine. Um, let me stop. So good for y'all. I'm glad you guys like found your um, what you wanted to do in life at a young age. Good for you. Because, you know, some people don't find out until later. And it's too late. So um good for them but my point is is that i haven't been in school in a long time and i and i want to know if you guys depending on how far you are out from being in high school if you ever think about like your high school friends or people you didn't even people you weren't even friends with like people like you know that you just knew of acquaintances are you like what are they doing where are they at like i wonder what they ever did with their lives like i feel like i'm so curious about that and they they're like you know what let me just search it up darius gaskin and they see all my videos. I'm over here eating hot dogs on. <laughs> I mean, hot dogs and bacon on camera. Oh my goodness. I mean, hot dogs. I haven't having coming out stories. They're like, oh well, I guess we know he's gay. They knew, but they're like, I, I, got, I know the whole story. I'm, I'm seeing him eat a, um, a chicken finger and a chicken wing every Tuesday. This is kind of crazy and unfair because I can't look up anybody else. This is just not. This is not fair. Anyways, um. What was I going to say? So the, we're going to move we're moving to the next girlfriend. Um, should I? Oh, that was her name. One of the girls that I had a huge crush on. This one was like the most real of the bunch. I really thought she was very pretty. Again, I would never to this day, never do anything with her. But at the time, I probably thought I would. I'm sure. Um, but she definitely was. Uh, I can't say her name because I don't want to say her name. Because Julia seems like a just very generic name. No no shade, Julia, if you're watching this. Uh, but Julia seems like a very, like, uh, like a, anybody could be Julia. But this other girl had a specific name that, she, that people will be able to know, I guess. Um, but she was very pretty to me. And this had to be after my second girlfriend. But she was very pretty to me. And she wasn't ever my girlfriend. But I wanted her to be very badly. Um, and I just remember messaging her going, please, please. Um, and she was just, I just think about that, like, hindsight. She probably was just not having it. Like, I was so weird and, like, uh, messaging her, telling her some, hey, what you doing? How you doing? Not like that, but, um, and I remember, I think she ended up dating other boys that I knew. And I remember being upset about that. Like, for that situation, Ready I didn't like. set up when you can safely do so. Go to your Alexa app. Add a new device. I don't know why it does that all the time. And I literally haven't ever done it. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, I don't know why I was upset at that one. Um, but no other girls I was. I just, I think that I really liked her. But I just, I don't know what it was. I just thought she, I, again, when you're young and you don't have representation, how are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to know? I literally was just sitting there going, um, sorry, I'm nosy. Oh, that's a scooter. I was like, what is he, what did he put on that cart? Anyways, um, I, I literally was like, oh, um, she's pretty, so I have to like her. She, I must be want to be her boyfriend. I didn't want to be her boyfriend, but I mean, at the time I did. But looking back, it was just because I thought she was really pretty. Um, she was a Latina. She was a Latina girl. <laughs> she was a Latina girl, and um, she was actually the only. I think okay, so Julie was white. Um, this other girl was Latina, and then my second girlfriend was also white. But I forgot her name, which is kind of crazy and rude that I forgot her name. But I'm, I also think that I have some kind of condition. And we'll get into that later. I'm, I'm always talking about I have a condition. But I do, guys. I'm serious. I actually do I think I have something with... I don't know if it's the Warner Keys. Is that what it's called? Warner Keys area? Bro, there's like a Broca's area and a Warner Key, Warner Key something area. And those are the two parts in your brain. One remembers faces and one remembers names. And there are people who have disorders. But like... I don't have, I don't, if I do have something, it's not severe at all. And it's me like mostly trying it because those disorders are very serious. When you have um, damage to one of the, whichever one's the face one, I can't remember which one the face one is. When you have damage to those areas, you can't remember your mom's face. And it's like actually a very disheartening like thing when you can't remember and recognize the people you know and love because your, your, your eyes cannot recognize a face, facial structure and like code it in your brain and retrieve it so like you can never see somebody multiple times and be like oh and some i'm sure there's different like severity severities of it but that's a really severe thing i obviously don't have those things but i honestly think that i do have an issue with matching faces to names like there's no reason why i shouldn't remember 
certain people's names. Like there are people's names that where I'll meet and they'll tell me their name or, and I know people have that too, but there are people who are definitely names that I should know and I cannot like retrieve them. Um, and it actually makes me very scared that like when I get older, like I'm only 23, like when I get older, it's just gonna get worse and worse. And I'm gonna be like looking at people going like, and it, you know, and that's such a, I'm sorry, I'm ranting. That's such a, like a, if somebody doesn't remember your name, that's so like, you think that they don't like you or that they don't care about you or that's rude or whatever. And it makes you look bad as a person. So like when I don't remember people's names, I feel so bad. I'm like, it doesn't mean that I don't remember you. I remember your face. I remember having a conversation. I just don't remember your name. Like, and it, it's not even like one time conversation. Sometimes I should actually know their name. I've had a conversation with them multiple times and I don't know, please. Um, anyway, so my second girlfriend, this was in middle school. Mm. Sorry, you know, it takes a long time for me to um, get things down my throat and, and drinking. Um, but anyway, so this one was a little more serious. I actually dated her for, <laughs> when I say serious, I mean like middle school serious, probably like two or three weeks or I don't really know. It definitely maybe was a, less than a month. Um, I talked, I was dating her and she very much, um, she was so nice. Um, she was pretty, I think it was more, again, I just wanted a girlfriend that was a little bit more serious than the first one. Didn't really like her. Ne we never kissed. We never met up. We never, I don't even know if we dated for a month. I don't even know. Um, we never did anything, but we would just like talk to each other on Facebook messenger. These are all girls that went to my school, by the way. But, um, the reason why ours ended is I think I told her I was bisexual or I don't think at that time I knew I was, or yeah, I think I told her I was bi um, and I'm not. So um, I think I told her I was bi. I'm, I can't remember if she was upset at that or not. I remember she had a, a friend and I did not like her. I, that just popped in my brain. Like I, I haven't thought about this girl, the, her friend for real, like since middle school. And I forgot her name too, but I did not like her. And she, I felt like she was feeding her like, oh, why would you date this? Blah, 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 blah. And I feel like she was, may have been um, upset at the fact that I was, that I told her that I was bi and she was like, you need to break up with them. I don't know, but whatever. The point is, is that um, we ended up breaking up like almost immediately. Um, and her, I'm trying to think of more details about the situation. I think that that was really it. Like we never actually did any, like I never actually did anything with her. Um, or any girl rather at that. Actually, I've kissed girls before. Um, um, I've kissed girls. I've, I can't, <laughs> I, whatever. I just feel so like PG on my, pa my page. Um, that's all I've done is kiss girls. So whatever. I have definitely done not everything, but some other things and really platonically all the things were platonic like i've never been like oh i'm interested in any of this um i've kissed like my friends that were girls before um never felt anything sorry i'm just trying to make sure this car's not about to do you guys see how much is going on in the background yeah so you you guys under... look this car's about to come you guys understand what why i am very much like you know, with the driving and there's things going around me all the time. Um, but yeah, so with girls, it's just never, it's just never clicked. Um, and, and people always ask like, um, and I know this is the, this is the black community and the girls aren't here for, a lot of the girls aren't here for this. Um, but I'm just going to be open and, and share my experience. But people always say like, how do you know if you've never done anything? Girl, you know, you know, stop, stop belittling, um, gay people's experiences. Stop, um, invalidating their experiences. Cause you know, for a fact, if you're straight, you know that you don't like the same sex. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't have to try it, you know? So that's how it is for, for gay people as well. I know that I'm not with it because I don't feel the same with girls or how I see girls as I do with guys. So point blank period. Um, I just think it's so, st I hate when people are like, well, how do you know if you've never tried? Okay, well, you try it then. Quickly. I swear, like, I feel like my mom said that to me one time. And I said, okay, well, why don't you try and do something with a girl? And she said, well, I would never, I'm not, oh, 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 you what? You what, you're not what? Oh, okay, me either. Anyways, the same thing I tell my mom, the same way you feel about girls, I do too. You can think they're pretty, but that's where the, the line is drawn in the sand. 
nothing else. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hate comments from this video, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get hate comments. Uh, I'm gonna get hate comments and I'm gonna get, um, what else? Dislikes and people gonna talk about me. Um, but yeah, that was my second and I'm and my final girlfriend. Um, we'll talk about boys in another video. That's crazy how I've never talked about any of these things on my channel. This is a little bit of a PG-13 video. Uh, maybe an MA-17. I don't know. I actually haven't said anything really bad at all. But um, but yeah, those have been my past girlfriends. The middle girl that I was talking about thought she was very pretty. I want to say that she has a child now. I do want to say she's one of the girls that have children. I don't remember and I don't know. I have to look look up all these people and figure it out. I need a year. I need like a yearbook. I need a, like a online thing can you just look up like past yearbooks i want to be able to order things because i don't think i got a yearbook for every single year i was in school and i should have i really regret that if i can't go back and get yearbooks or like see who went to my school i'll be very upset because i want to be able to um for the rest of my life remember like oh match the name to the face you guys remember that i'm really bad at names and faces so like sometimes malik will be like do you remember so and so and i definitely should remember them but i don't remember their face or anything like that and it makes me upset that I can't remember. And he'll be like, yeah, he did this and he did that. And you don't remember he did this and he was in this show and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what? Show as in like maybe talent show or I don't know. Just like he'll like say different things. He was he had this girlfriend or whatever. And I'm like, I don't remember any of that. But I know that if I saw their face, I would rem if I saw all their faces, I would all the pieces would start to connect. Um, but I just <laughs> I have some kind of condition. I don't know. Please. Um. Uh, what is this behind me blocking me from getting out um but yeah so those that was my experience let me know if you guys want to talk want me to talk about the horrible luck that i've that i've had with guys um i know half you guys are unsubscribing uh because some people are like some people are like oh you can be gay but don't talk about it like girl bye um i hate when people do that like and now now the one time because i've never been able to share any kind of experiences of my own for any kind of relationship or anything that i've ever had um on camera and then or not i haven't been able to but you understand what i'm saying like i haven't been out um or open rather and so the, the one time that i make a coming out video and I, now i want to start talking about this side of my life that i haven't ever talked about people are like you're talking too much about it you you're doing too much like you're doing too much I, we get it you're gay like okay like now can i get my time to talk about my piece please can i talk about my story thank you anyways um we're gonna end it right here um i love you guys so much and thank you for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um i have a lot of more different things to come um, Malik and I want to do different fun things, but we feel like people don't want to watch that stuff. Like, I feel like a traditional mukbang is going to do better than something new and fun and quirky and different. I don't think that my audience wants things that are new, um, which is very interesting. Like, I feel like I would be very interested in the videos that I want to post. Um, it just depends. We haven't tried a lot of different things, so I'm trying it. But you, you will see, you will see different things, food related content, but different things that we want to do to make things like more fun and quirky and, and fresh and not just a mukbang in front of a camera. So um, stay tuned for those types of videos. I have a lot more videos coming at the, the end of this month. And then April, like I told you guys, I'm gonna be um, going to see the eclipse on April 8th with my mom and my dad. And I'll be there for about a week. So hopefully me and my mom and maybe my dad can film a couple videos um, and you'll see a little bit of reunion. Um, and I'm also thinking of going to Vegas as well to do a couple videos there um in probably the end of april maybe may uh i know i have we're going to washington dc i'm very much just booked and busy this like spring which is so weird like there's a lot of events that are happening that i'm doing this this um spring heading into summer but then summer's just going to be very dry except for the fact that i'm in chicago Mwah! oh my god oh my goodness there's six people in front of my car looking at me go Mwah! um hey how you doing <laughs> hey anyway okay that's Oh, that was Caitlyn Jenner. Hey, how you doing? Um, Caitlyn Jenner's kind of... Is that mean? I don't know. But anyways, I gotta go. Um, I'll see you guys next time with another video. Um, peace out.